Got him in group as a go. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. Got to get going. Got to be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. <laughs> Welcome to another show of Z360. I'm your host, David Suntup. Coming up on this edition, we have the story of a family connection between a men's soccer player and a men's basketball coach. A men's cross country runner is trying to accomplish something that's never been done at Akron, and the football team talks about its experiences in college football's largest venues. But we start off with men's soccer. Keith Dambra has spent his entire life in Akron. He played baseball for the Zips. He coached at St. Vincent St. Mary, and now he's entering his 11th year as Akron's men's basketball coach. His son, Robbie, is making an impact at Akron in a different way as a soccer player. This school has always been pretty important for my family. I mean, it's always been a part of the Dambra family since before I was even born. So. It's pretty cool to come here and follow in my grandma and my father's footsteps. Well, for us, it's a big deal. My mother was a college professor here. My daughter graduated from here and goes to graduate school. I played here, uh, now coach here, and now him coming here. It just continues our legacy. We believe in this place. We believe in the education, and we've been here a long time. Yeah, I think I, I like Robbie. He's a good kid, and um, he's a competitor. And you know what? He's all about Akron, and you can never have too many guys that you know, want to see Akron succeed and, and pass that passion and pride on to other players. Being the son of the coach really taught me a lot. I mean, he always pushes me just like he pushes his own players on the court, whether it's in my game or in the classroom or just in life to make the right decisions. He treats me as one of his players, but he also is, treats me as his son as well. I think, you know, first off, he gets most of the credit, but I did teach him how to play hard, whatever he played, and I told him that, you know, you never really have to worry about how you play, but how hard you play, the rest will take care of itself. You know, I think what he understands is how hard you have to work, how competitive you got to be, and, you know, you got to do it every day. So he's one of our hardest workers every day, and he's ultra competitive, and I think those things can overcome some maybe deficiencies in skills, and that at this stage but uh, you know I think you, you know coach D's ultra competitive and you see every bit of that in Robbie. They're a little different my dad's a little more fiery than coach Embick but they have the same belief systems and they both are winners. Yeah I think we're, we're similar in some ways you know he, he played baseball not really basketball in college I played at a small school so I think we both kind of feel like we're underdogs that have worked really hard to get here and you know, even though I'm maybe not as loud and um, animated as he can get sometimes, I think we're both very competitive and demanding on players, especially behind the scenes. Well, I, I really don't know a lot about soccer. I've grown to know a little bit, but what I try to help him with is just the grind of the year, the competitiveness, the challenges of playing on a nationally ranked team, and uh, trying, to fit, trying to help him get out onto the field. He taught me toughness determination, never take anything for granted, and never let anyone take something you want from you. So he really taught me some, some key, key things for me. Most people know me as Keith Dambrot's son instead of Robbie Dambrot, so I gotta focus on these next four years trying to make a name for myself rather than being Coach Dambrot's son. This week's Zip Student Athlete of the Week, Kyle Cochran, has already won MAC championships in indoor and outdoor track. Now, the Cuyahoga Falls native is looking to add another championship to his trophy case in cross country. Um, it was cool. Uh, it was definitely my goal to go out and win. Uh, I thought my best competition was going to be Matt Call from Kent, and he was uh, definitely trying to drop me throughout the first two miles. But I figured if I just stuck with him, I'd have enough at the end to get him. I just figured, you know, I didn't want to kill it from the start. They had the mile markers marked and I knew the times going into it so um, it wasn't so bad I was definitely ready to drop five minute pace or under I wasn't too worried about how fast we went out probably injuries or avoiding injuries I mean it's just 
you're out there every day and sometimes you have to go twice a day and it's a lot of wear and tear on your body and your bones. Um, definitely avoiding stress fractures. Well, we're all a bunch of geeks, uh, so we're definitely fun to be around. It's really cool hanging out with the team. When you're a runner, you know, it's not exciting. It's not playing a game like football or baseball. I mean, we're just out there every day on the trails and it's not something you uh, normally enjoy doing. So I guess we just make fun out of the experiences we have, which normally people think running is just punishment. Uh, it definitely keeps me regimented. I mean, I definitely, you know, we practice at the same time every day. I know I have to keep on a diet and, you know, work out and run roughly the same times and I get enough distance in throughout the week so I really have to work my schedule around running and I think it helps at school a lot. I'm actually a vegetarian, uh, I'm a little different but I take a lot of iron supplements and calcium, make sure my bones are fine and my iron's up. Um, I don't know, eat a lot of eggs, try and get as much protein as I can, whether beans, get you a lot of spinach. It's, it's really cool and I think it definitely has its advantages. Um, it's a lot easier on me, I think. Uh, you know, just commuting from home and being able to, you know, sleep in the same bed, not have to worry about the usual, you know, no one waking me up at five in the morning in the dorm room. So it's cool staying local. I like it. Our biggest competition is definitely going to be Eastern Michigan. Um, we knew that last year, and last year we were the closest we ever got. Um, this year I definitely think we have the squad to do it. They lost a lot of people, and we're young, but I think we definitely have the talent. And by, you know, within the next month, I think we'll definitely be in good enough shape to take them down. That, I mean, that's what we've been shooting for since my freshman year, and we've never been so close. That would be, uh, that'd be cool. That'd be a great way to go out or, you know, do it again next year. The Horseshoe at Ohio State, Neyland Stadium at Tennessee, the Big House at Michigan. Akron football has played in some of the biggest venues in the nation. And last week, the Zips added another one to their list, Beaver Stadium at Penn State. You know, last year you play at Michigan, two years ago you go to Rocky Top and play at Tennessee, and then as a freshman you're in the horseshoe at Ohio State. What are those big atmospheres like for you? Um, I, I'm getting more comfortable playing in them, that's for sure. I know when I was a freshman, a um, little starry-eyed looking up at the stands, but uh, last year playing against Michigan in the big house uh, got me some good experience. I feel more comfortable now playing in front of big crowds. Best memory, probably scoring a touchdown against Michigan, being an Ohio kid. Um, you know, that's, that's a big one for me. Always grew up hating Michigan, so that's definitely uh, the most memorable experience for me out of all those. You're a Pennsylvania guy. You're playing at Penn State. Your family is season ticket holders to Penn State games. How cool is this experience going to be for you, not only to play at Beaver Stadium, but also play at Penn State? Oh, it's going to be really fun. You know, I, really, since Temple left the conference after my freshman year, I have yet to play in uh, Pennsylvania since I've been to college because Temple came here my freshman year. Um, so really just playing in Pennsylvania is really what I'm looking forward to. I get to do that twice for my senior year, so that's awesome. It's going to be great for the Zips uh, to get some action versus a good team and more so uh, my family that never got to really get to see me play because I'm so far away. So. I'm just, I'm just excited for my family, the Zips family, uh, which is coming to support us and my family in general. I don't, my mom handled the ticket situation. I, I would imagine there's going to be between 50 and 60 uh, uh, family members there. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I would certainly hope they're wearing Zips gear, but I'm, I'm sure they will. What do you think the experience at Beaver Stadium will be like? Um. It's nothing, it's, it's no pressure at all. We'll probably go to a silent count. The most unique thing is coming out to Akron Zips where you probably see probably 90,000 less. And when you come out for pregame versus Penn State, you see 90 plus more, 90,000 plus more. So it's just a, it's a adrenaline rush. It feel like, uh, you just put it like you, you wouldn't need no Red Bull before that game. Just the, just the, just the, uh, the crowd alone hypes you up. So just put it that way. There's no way to prepare for it, no matter how loud they turn the music up in here. Um, you know, you can't simulate putting 100,000 people in the stand, so just experience just doing it over and over uh, gets you more comfortable with it. There's really no, uh, no word to describe it. You know, it's one of those things you kind of grow up watching on TV, you see, uh, wow, you know, that place is really big, and then but when it boils down to it, I mean, football is football. You know, after a while, it lasts a few series, and then, you know, you really just realize you're just playing football like every day. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Z360. Tune in next week as we'll have more great stories for you around Akron Athletics. I'm David Suntup for GoZips.com.